How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Florida Homestead. Folks, today we are going to be looking at a chicken coop from Zid Tia. Really excited to show you guys how Amanda and I put it together, got everything set up. Now, funny enough, Zid Tia reached out to us and they said, hey, would you be interested in a collaboration for a chicken coop? And at first I said, well, no, not really. I already have a chicken coop. I don't need another one. And then I started thinking about it and I emailed them back. I said, guys, we're going to be getting some goats soon. So would you be cool with us showing off your chicken coop, but in the form of a goat house? And they said, sure, go for it. And the end result I think is gonna be just perfect for the goats that we're planning on adding to our homestead pretty soon. So without further ado, guys, let's take a look at it. Let's jump in with the Zid Tia chicken coop. I'll show you how Amanda and I got it put together and some of the modifications we're gonna be doing to it so that it can be a house for goats. Let's jump in. So I went ahead and I grabbed Amanda and the kids and we set off to go ahead and unbox this coop and start getting working on it. One of the very first things that we noticed upon opening it up was how straightforward it was. It's pretty much just a bunch of metal rods that fit together like building blocks, almost like Legos, if you will. They snap right into one another and that forms the frame of the coop itself. There's an instruction manual in case you need help, which is almost not needed. That's how simple this thing really is to put together, but the instruction manual is pretty straightforward. So we set off to get this put together one piece at a time, starting from the bottom. And we were able to knock it out much, much faster than I had anticipated due to how easily the metal rods lock into one another. They're labeled with stickers. The stickers tell you exactly where they go. Some are specifically meant to form the base of the coop. Some are meant to form the risers that bring up to the second level. And some are meant to be the archway over the top of the coop itself. But most of the frame can be installed by yourself. I would argue maybe even the entirety of the frame could be installed by yourself. Some of the bendy hoops on the top that form the arch, which is gonna have the tarp covering over it, that you could get some help from a second person, but I would not go as far as to say it's mandatory. Realistically, you could put the whole frame together by yourself in, we'll call it 30 to 45 minutes at best. It's quite quick. I was surprised by how easy it was, and it took a lot less time than I thought it would to get past that part of the setup. Now, once we had the frame itself all put together, it was time to install the chicken netting. Now, the way that this works is you have a roll of chicken netting, which is conveniently sized to be the exact width in between two of the support bars. So you can just take the whole roll of chicken netting, you can roll it right over the top of the coop and over to the other side, as we did here. And then you take the zip ties that are included and you zip it in. We went ahead and we counted like every five squares in the chicken netting, we would go ahead and put a zip tie. And you can just leave it like that, but the zip ties are gonna look a little tacky, I thought. So we actually went behind after putting in each zip tie and Amanda went ahead and cut off those tails on the zip ties. It just made it look a little bit more aesthetic, I think. This part of the prop uh, of the install could most likely be done with one person still, but it was definitely pretty helpful to have Amanda there with me just to make sure that we were holding the chicken netting really tight, that it wasn't gonna have any uh, obnoxious imperfections or bulges in the netting. We pulled it really tight, we zipped it in with those zip ties, and if you were to install this product for its intended use as a chicken coop, there is even a door, so a metal pipe door that you would install. It goes together exactly the same way as the rest of this frame. We just did not put the front on the coop altogether, 
because of how we are going to use this as a goat pen, we wanted it to be open in the front so the goats can come and go as they choose. And so finally, with the metal frame put together with the chicken wire stretched over the top of it, it was time for the final part. This tarp is included with your kit here. And that tarp is just to serve as a sunshade for chickens. And we were gonna use it for the same thing for our goats, a sunshade for the back of this goat structure. So we went ahead, we stretched it over the top, and you get these little bungee cords almost that secured in place. Now with the installation itself practically done, we had gotten all of the framework together. We stretched the chicken wire over the top. We even got the tarp over the top back, which is gonna serve as a sunshade. We needed to move it from one side of the property to where it will ultimately be resting, which is in part of our chicken run. So Amanda and I, we picked up the chicken coop and it was surprisingly sturdy. I was worried that we might need four people to move it as it might bend or snap with just the two of us moving it, but no, it was quite all right and where we're going to set this down is actually on a hillside which is going to serve our benefit when it rains when we get heavy rains that rainwater is going to run down the hill rather than pool at the bottom of the goat pen we don't want that to happen problem is that hill is a little bit too steep so i hopped on the tractor and i set off to level that out a bit so that they'd have a little bit more of a flat floor to sleep on And of course, as with any project we try to do on the homestead, our cows eventually caught wind of us doing some work. They all had to come over to see what was going on. But ultimately, we were able to get that area relatively level. We built a little temporary retaining wall. That's gonna keep all of that sand and dirt that we moved over there from washing away in the rain. We're gonna beef that up pretty soon here. And we were able to walk the, the chicken coop in, set it down, and it looked like it would be good to go right there in that position. Going forward, we're gonna take some pallets and we're gonna use those as walls that will break the wind so that when it gets cold at night and there's a sharp wind, that wind won't chill the goats. We want them to be able to be safe and warm within this little house. And also in the summertime, it won't be too hot because there's gonna be a lot of ventilation for them, being that the pallet walls won't be solid. There'll be little air breaks in between them. So it doesn't get too hot and humid in the middle of the summer, and it doesn't get too smelly in there either. All right, everybody, and that's gonna do it for the video. I wanna say thank you again to Zid Tia for the opportunity to take a look at this chicken coop, to put it together, to review it. It's gonna get a thumbs up from me. It was really easy to put together. The metal bar snapped together so easily, and zipping the chicken wire on there isn't that bad either. So obviously, we're gonna use it for goats pretty soon. We've got a little bit more work to do. We've gotta beef up that retaining wall that's gonna keep the area flat. And we're gonna use pallets to basically form a windbreak so that the goats have some actual shelter in there. But other than that, it's just about finished. Do you have any thoughts, Amanda? Um, I'm excited to, you know, get the rest of it together for our goats, but, um, you know, I can honestly see that being a really good option for somebody who doesn't necessarily have a, you know, more area than we do on our homestead. Even if you just wanted to have any chickens, that would be perfect to just, you know, put a roost in there somewhere for them to lay eggs, a nesting box, and you're good. So that's, it's a pretty good product and I give it a thumbs up too. It gets a thumbs up from me. Guys from Florida Homestead, from Amanda and myself, God bless. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thank you again, Zitia. Folks, take care. Bye-bye everybody. I'll give you a ride in a minute.